Hi, so in this video, we are going to start discussing about dimensionality reduction. What do we mean by dimensionality reduction? It means that we need, we are reducing the number of features in our data set. What are features? Features are basically the points X1, X2, X3, right? So these are the features that we have. So we are trying to reduce the number of features in our data set. And why do we do that? Because a smaller data set is easier to analyze, process, store and even to visualize okay what are some techniques that we use uh, to uh, achieve dimensionality reduction the two types of techniques are feature selection and feature extraction and the principal component analysis the main topic that we will discuss in this section will come under feature extraction okay now uh, let's talk one by one about both the categories the first thing is the feature selection what do we do in feature selection now we select the feature which are relevant to our current application and reject the irrelevant and redundant features via uh, manual engineering now uh, as we have already discussed about this in the introductory video the thing is suppose our data set is having five features we select the features that are relevant to us okay and we reject the features which are not relevant for our current application and doing this we reduce the number of features of our uh, data set okay or other thing we can do is we can uh, reject the redundant feature suppose one feature is x and the other feature is x square so we can just remove x square right because we can any time achieve x square from x okay so this is another thing that we do but the thing is if the data set is already containing those features which are relevant okay suppose the five features the data set is having and all five of these features are relevant for our model then if we perform the feature selection then it will lead us to the loss of information which is not good for our model mm -hmm. and for above mentioned scenario for this particular scenario we have feature extraction that comes to our rescue now let's discuss about what is feature extraction the feature extraction is basically a technique in which we form new features which are extracted which are extracted from the previous features okay now uh, consider this particular diagram we have five different type of features okay uh, we have performed the feature selection and all the features that we are having right now are relevant to us and are non redundant okay so basically they are all completely different features now uh, we have five features but we still want to reduce the number of features so what we do we extract the features in such a way that the new features that are being created are the linear combination of existing features okay so basically what we do we start making new features which contains the data from all the features and this is exactly what happens in principal component analysis uh, these five features these five new extracted features that we have just generated uh, they are all called as principal components okay so we have five principal components and the principal components are arranged in such a way that first two principal components contain the maximum information about the data so the amount of information keeps on decreasing from principal component 1 to principal component 5 and the first two principal components are able to retain so much of the information that we can achieve about 90 percent of the accuracy of the model about 95 i think uh, i must have yeah uh, we can achieve more than 90% of the accuracy just by keeping two features and we can reject the rest features of our model. So we have converted the data set with five features into data set with two features while retaining maximum information about the original data about all the five features. So this is what we do in principal component analysis. The amount of information retained is more than 90% in usual cases and the essence of PCA is to find the best trade-off between the re between reducing the dimension and information retention okay so uh, basically uh, this is what the trade-off of pcna because uh, it has to find the best 
features best extracted features which contains the maximum information about our original data set let's discuss some points about principal component analysis the first point is that the new feature that we have created are the linear combination of existing features okay and the maximum information about all the data set is retained in the first feature itself okay and analysis we do analysis uh, basically PCA this PCA uh, and the, the A is analysis so the analysis that we perform it it helps us to analyze that first principal component uh, that first principal component right so uh, we uh, out of all the principal components this analysis helps us to uh, know which one is the first one basically which one is having the maximum information about the data uh, the analogy to understand okay so this is something that i like and this is something that you can uh, if you can visualize you will understand pca very well so what is the analogy to understand pca suppose there are a number of people in a meeting room suppose there is a meeting room and there are a number of people in the meeting room uh, sitting everywhere okay in uh, uh, in a circle okay now you can click photos from number of places to show people present okay you can uh, uh, click photo from this side you can click photo from this side okay you can click photo from all the sides the task with pca is to analyze the point from which you can click a photo and you can capture maximum number of people okay so if you take a photo from the top you will capture all the people inside the meeting room okay so pc here is the analysis from which angle and location you should take a photo uh, so that the maximum number of people are visible similarly from which angle you should click a photo of your data so that the maximum features are visible this is what principal component analysis is mainly okay so uh, let's talk a little bit about pca now uh, how do we use pca to convert 2d data into 1d okay so we have three approaches here the first approach is that we you know take the projection of all the data on the y-axis okay we take the projection of entire data on the y-axis and uh, basically we multiply it with this equation 0x plus 1 by and this is uh, this is the data uh, this is how data will look like and this is one of the principal components okay the second approach is by you know applying uh, multiplying with this equation where we are just taking the projection on the x-axis okay uh, one thing that uh, how do we say that this particular model is better than the previous one is uh, basically we want more uh, we want more separation between the data sets okay so the better separation data sets are having the better we say uh, our model is so in the first example you could have seen that there is very less separation between the data points in the second principal component you can see that there the separation is actually increasing so it is a little bit better than the previous one and the third approach that we can take is we take the projection of all the data points on some line which is at the th which is at theta angle from the x-axis instead of completing removing one feature we can take something from both okay so the projecting data on this red line uh, the most faithful representation of data is this and the principal component will help us find this angle theta because there can be a lot of thetas okay there can be a lot of thetas between a quadrant so a principal component analysis is going to help us find this optimum value of theta from which of uh, which will give us the best representation of our data okay uh, till now we have achieved three principal components if we do a slight comparison between the three principal components uh, this is the first component uh, second component the third component and as i just said uh, we say a model is better than other when the data points are more differentiable than uh, the other model okay so here we have considered a better spread of data as the better representation hence the order of principal components is third is best second is better first is nothing okay it's not good okay so in the next video 
Uh, we will talk a little bit about variants and covariants because uh, they are important for us uh, to know them before we start applying the principal component analysis algorithm.